Hey, it's Larry Sharp here yet again at Freedom Fest, talking about a very tough issue here, and that is healthcare versus healthcare insurance and healthcare reform. I have Jeff Cantor here, a friend of mine for many years, working on a lot, of, a lot of fun issues. Tell me about what you're working on, please. Oh, certainly. Well, it's been really exciting because we're working in the healthcare space, and we've been kind of the uberization of it. We're trying to be very disruptive and empower everybody to become a cash patient. So the medical world's kind of evolved in the last so many decades to be a top-down mentality. Yep. Used to be in the old days, a doctor came to your house and you paid. Yep. But then the next thing you know, you got to go to some place. I got an insurance card. I got a copay, and I've lost complete context any longer. So we're completely flipping it back to the way it was. I were yes. allowing you to have the money so you can go to the hospital. You've got the money. You don't have to sell so to us. So you have an answer for healthcare insurance. I tell everybody, here's the key thing. Insurance is a great idea yep. for static objects. Yep. Like your home or your car. Yep. But your human being, you're evolved and your health yep. is changing and you need something that's symbiotic. Yep. And insurance is too rigid of a mentality. So by just empowering you and allowing you have money to just make your own decisions, that's the solution right there. But it comes down what real quick, but it comes down to us taking it back. We can't look to some other entity, government, or company. So you're not actually saying that we need to get rid of this. You're saying here's an option for others. This is what I've been bringing up constantly when it comes to this issue, right? The problem in America right now is the average American doesn't know the difference between health care and health care insurance. Even the average politician uses them interchangeably. They're the same thing. Obamacare was not health care reform. It was health care insurance reform. And bad at that, but it, it was that. It was only one thing. That's right. And people don't always get that. What I've been trying to tell people is if we don't fix the healthcare system or how you interact with your doctor, which is what you're talking about, right? How do I interact with my healthcare professional, my nurse practitioner, my doctor, whoever that person is that I choose? If I don't change that, I'm changing nothing. That's right. You're it's just moving the chairs around the tight end. Exactly, right? It's a paint job on, and the car's still broken. Is what it is. That's what we keep doing. But you're giving a different answer, which I like because you know, I just talk. I bring up often the idea that in New York City already, where I live, most of the best doctors have already stopped taking insurance. So what does that mean? If you want the best health care, you have to pay cash. So the wealthy get whatever they want, right? As they always do, which is why many wealthy people are totally fine with Obamacare or Medicare for all or whatever, because they're not going to use it anyway. That's right. So you, if you poor people want to have this terrible insurance, go ahead. We're going our way anyway. Good luck with that. Right? And I see the change in people who are wealthy even to medical tourism. Right? Going to other countries and getting stuff done. Uh, all these different things. Or, or in New York City, the best doctors. If you go to a, a facility right now that does not take insurance. Sorry, that does take insurance. Mm -hmm. They take insurance. There's two doctors and five administrators. That's right. And five administrators care more about your photocopying your card than you. They don't care about you at all. You're in the way because you're not the customer, right? That's right. right? The customer is the government or is the insurance company. That's right. You're in the way. So your appointment's for two o'clock, you get seen 345, and when you're done being seen, it's five minutes, maybe 10 minutes at max, and it always ends the same way, one or two things. It ends with a, prescri a prescription or a procedure. Because that's, right. that's, oh, that's how they get paid. Or a test. Oh, test. Because that's how they get paid. That's right. So they're always billing, right? right. You're the way of billing. Right. But now go the opposite way. Go to a doctor who takes no insurance. There's five doctors in that practice and two administrators reversed. If that. Exactly. They might only have one. That's right. Well, if, when you show up now, your appointment's at two. You're seeing latest 205. The doctor talks to you and asks questions like, how are you eating? How are you sleeping? What's your stress level and like? it's a long appointment. It's a long appointment. And it ends with the right thing for you because he's getting paid. That's right. She's getting paid by a credit card or a check. That's and what you're different. saying is you're allowing people who aren't wealthy to do that. That's right. Because if the difference is one, we're, we're a sickness care society. We're not health care. Yep. You're sick. And now we're going to take care of your sickness. So the doctor, like you're describing this insurance oriented, is thinking, boy, I sure hope Larry gets sick today. Yes. Because I got to make some money. <laughs> yes. And unless this guy comes in my place and is not sick, 
I don't get any money coming in. Yes. So the cash oriented doctor is often a subscription doctor in that I pay a monthly fee, yep. very low and reasonable, but now let's say I'm a doctor with several hundred patients and everyone's paying me monthly. Well, now do I need to be scrambling around worrying for people to get sick? I got the time to spend to get quality care. Yes. And so what the cash doctors always say is, you know what's so great? I get to be the doctor again yes, for a change. Yes, absolutely. This is why I went to school to help people. In instead fact, of the this incentive other is that you're not sick. I'm going to do go out of my way to prevent your illness because if you don't come into my into my practice, I have time for other things. That's right. So I'm I'm actually hoping you're healthy. That's exactly Absolutely. right. So yes. now the, the incentives are correct. Yes. And then the other difference is that for the doctor, that they don't have to worry like you were saying with all those administrators. I'm more focused on running the business than I am about my, helping my patients. Correct. And when I get liberated, I go from several thousand patients down to under 500 patients. Yes. So I get to know everyone by name again. Yes. And I spend the time with them like I want to and I'm prevented in the mentality and what everyone's stunned by and this when you said this only for the rich the reality is that cash oriented doctors are cheaper yes cheaper yep so in the city that I live in there's a very famous hotel, uh, hotel a very famous hospital well lo and behold if you shop in the very same town I can get an MRI for one fifth of the price yep absolutely I can get a test blood test done for one tenth of price. Tell me the story Surgery's you said you were, you were at a, uh, a trade show. Tell me the story of some doctors who like how they came aboard. Well, it's interesting too, the trepidation also, because just like human nature, you always hate to give up the status quo. Sure. Even if it isn't so great, uh, the, the, the alternative could be worse. It's a devil I know. So, exactly. The yep. Chinese proverb. So anyway, I was at this uh, doctor's convention and a, a number of liberated doctors got up and said, hey, I used to take Medicare, I used to be in the VA, whatever they were doing, and now I do cash. And I love it and I sleep at night and I'm not suicidal anymore. And then when we were breaking, I talked to these other doctors that came in the audience and said, well, when are you going to convert over? And a certain percentage said, look, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, I'm just so acclimated to this. I hate it, but I'm used to it. And that's part of the problem. Yes. You've got to get that person to become that other adapter because we're never going to take the system back unless they convert. Great. And then a certain percentage, and I don't know if they were just doing it to not say the first thing, but to throw their spouse under the bus, we often say, I would do it, but my spouse would kill me. Oh, right, yes, of course. Yes, so I yes, can't yes. make the move right. and I'll lay the blame onto them. Right. But the ones that made the move, and I have to say, I've never been to conventions and I'm at a place like Freedom Fest where everybody's very excited here. But at that free market doctor's event, you never see the happier people than those doctors that finally got rid of that albatross and take the insurance. So so how does someone find out more about what you're doing? Oh, you go to yourfreedomhub.com or, or docsempowerpatients.com if you're a doctor, and you'll be able to find out all about it. There's a lot of other stuff too. We've got tools for you to be able to have more money to spend on out-of-pocket procedures, how to get medications overseas so you're not strangled by domestic pricing. So there's a lot of freedom if you look the other direction. We were joking before we did this interview that everyone looks in this direction for help, and if they suddenly look in this direction, they're like, oh my gosh, it's look all at there. the whole market's over <laughs> here. <laughs> what am I looking at this nonsense for? Yes. And that's what we all need to do is wake up Absolutely. and realize that the solution's already here. Yes, and, and we don't have to abolish the old one. And that's the issue you hear me all the time. I'm not about abolishing the old Keep the old system if you want, but let's allow for other options for the consumer to drive the choice. And the government option will either get better or become obsolete. That's right. Either one is the right answer as long as service is good for you and I, the individual, and we become the customer and we talk to our doctors ourselves. Thank you so much, Mom. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate being out. Thank, Thank you. you very much.